If I could summarize 12 years ago, uh, one phrase that kind of summed up our zoo's culture and mentality, it would be the status quo, the love of the status quo. Because the status quo is very comfortable and safe. That's why we were struggling so, so much. Today, the culture is 180 degrees the other way. Change came quickly at the Cincinnati Zoo about a dozen years ago. We had been running in the red for a number of years. And of course, the board was very clear that had to stop. So that focused us a lot. And we really did say, we need to do a strategic plan that says, what's the way forward so we can grow? From employee morale to the progressive mindset of pushing the envelope, that culture, you know, being allowed to make mistakes, as long as we're being smart about it, uh, and pushing things forward and doing things that have never been done before, that's the, that's the culture here at the zoo. And that's why we've done so many things here that other zoos, other organizations, profit or nonprofit alike, look at us and they're like, how did you guys pull that off? Employee experience is everything here. Um, we've been fortunate enough now to win the Top Workplaces Award for six years in a row. But it's not necessarily about winning the award, it's about the feedback that we get from our team. It was a commitment from, from Thane and Dave, our, our director and COO, when they came on to their roles here at the zoo, that um, you know, we needed to change how we did business here at the zoo, but we also needed to focus on our people, because we are not going to accomplish anything without focusing on our people. We will hire anywhere from three to 400 seasonal employees each year. We're a staff of two and a half. When we started with PayCor, we were a staff of two. HR can oftentimes be buried in a pile of paper. So onboarding helped us in two ways. One, it helped get all of those documents online. And two, it actually allows us to get all those documents completed before the employee actually starts on their first day. So it allowed us to be much more efficient in our use of time and actually increase our service level for the employees coming in and for our managers as they're trying to bring people onto the team. For every job, we um, are getting a lot of applicants. A lot of people want to work at the zoo. Paycor's really helped us to, to really take away all of that um, double checking and it just does it for you, which is so beautiful. Um, and it makes the process so much easier for us. And it saves us a lot of time and me a lot of anxiety. <laughs> so that's a really big benefit to um, so to what is brought to our table. Life before Paycor uh, was process oriented with a lot of complaining. When we added the applicant tracking system, that was a game changer for us. That has been one of the programs that, that managers have just been really kind of glowing about, giving them that control and that uh, kind of power over their process. They feel like they're not waiting for somebody else to move on it, the power's in their hand. There's very few opportunities to do this work in a facility like this, work with wildlife conservation, and apply the science that I love um, to helping to save endangered animals. So I think most of the staff who work here feel very, very fortunate to be a part of this program. Here at the Cincinnati Zoo, we have a lot of fun. Our working motto is we're here to inspire every visitor with wildlife every day. We work hard to get everybody from kids working in the parking lot part-time to keepers taking care of baby Fiona to really embrace that. We don't want to be a passive zoo where you walk through and just say, oh, there's a sleeping rhino, there's a sleeping cheetah. We want to be a zoo where when you leave, your kids say, man, let's go there again. That was a lot of fun. <laughs>